Yum, yum! Hello, Łukasz Pazera here. I would like to show you a new rigging feature in model 13.2 and uh, that is the twist extractor node. Suppose we are building an arm rig. One of the common issues with such a rig are the issues with the deformation when you twist the arm a lot, like in this example. The usual solution to improve the deformation is to add a few more twist joints across the length of the arm and then distribute the amount of twist gradually and this way we get much smoother deformation. So I have the rig uh, already built in such a way. So let's take a look. So the magenta locators, they are showing the direction in which the forearm and the arm are pointing. So as you can see, this is the 90 degrees uh, difference and that amounts for the 90 degrees roughly uh, twist. The, the four green ones are our twist uh, joints and they should actually go gradually from the arm uh, orientation or from the arm um, you know, pointing direction down to the forearm one. So right now they don't do this. As you can see, the twist is uh, fully applied across the entire um, upper arm section. To make this rig work, I need to be able to extract the twist angle between the, the arm and the shoulder. And normally it would involve a fair amount of rigging uh, to prepare such setup. But here's where uh, the, the twist extractor node comes in. Let's go to the schematic view then. So here's my rig, it's really simple. And I have all the elements prepared apart from the twist extractor node. So let's add it now. going to find the twist extractor, put it there. The twist extractor can uh, convert an, a world orientation into angles, so that you've, we've got the twist, pitch and yaw angles, but it's done in such a way that the twist is an independent value. So this is really useful because it basically breaks down the orientation into two pieces. One is twist and the other one is our uh, two remaining um, angles. We're going to wire up the twist extractor node now. So let's go to the setup mode first to do things uh, properly. And uh, let's go into twist extractor properties. I'm going to leave everything at default apart from the setup mode. I will, because we're gonna work uh, in the world space with world positions and orientations. Uh, I'm going to turn the setup mode uh, off and then I will wire up shoulder word position to the word parent position, shoulder word rotation into word parent rotation, and then arm word position to word position, word rotation goes to the twist, twist extractor rotation. So as you can see, I'm, I'm wiring up, I'm trying to extract the, the twist between the shoulder and the arm using uh, word transforms. Now I need to wire up the output, so the output goes in this uh, prepared node and I also need to use the compensated twist in this example and subtract it from the twist. So, and that's pretty much it, that's all I need. So I can uh, hide my schematic, leave the setup mode and voila, that's, that is the much better deformation effect with the twist distributed gradually across the length um, of the upper arm. Yum, yum!